me start by saying congratulations on the movie. You were all fantastic in it. Um, as a longtime Queen fan, I was very curious how the final Live Aid thing would be done, and it's so effing good. Um, <laughs> I just want to know like, if you guys could talk a little bit about behind the scenes of filming the Live Aid stuff, because it has this amazing energy that you want to like sing along as it's happening. You know, we, we started out day one with Live Aid, and we went through uh, every song in sequence till the last day of that week when we did the entire concert together. And I think that's when we felt at our best. You need to go from one song to the next to really have that same adrenaline rush that they had. We had an audience of Queen fans out there uh, recreating that iconic concert. And it is, uh, it's an adrenaline rush like you could never imagine. Yeah, it was. We'd, we'd studied that footage like endlessly in the lead up to filming, mm -hmm. and I remember every time watching it just being mesmerised by, by the whole thing. But particularly just Freddie's ability to engage seventy thousand people in one at once, and uh, I remember the buzz of of watching that footage on my little computer screen studying, and then being on set that was perfectly replicated, um, looking around and seeing everybody in full costume and makeup, seeing the incredible attention to detail and just having this incredible experience of just realizing we are part of this. It was quite a surreal moment, but just what, what a way to start. It was just a real privilege to be up on that set and doing it, and it set the tone for the film then, it, just this celebratory tone. Um, the, one of the things about this film is one of those rare films where if it had been five hours long, I would have been okay. Um, there's just so much to the story, and, and it, I would have been happy with it. So I'm curious, what scenes didn't make the cut, and what were you sad to see go? Mm. Yeah, there sure. there's probably is a five-hour film. <laughs> there is a five-hour film. I, I feel like the assembly, the initial cut, was probably at four and a half <laughs> hours, and hmm. I'm not kidding. Uh, Freddie, uh, crazy little thing called Love, he wrote it, and uh, he wrote it in a bathtub. Uh, he got the inspiration for it. He asked for a guitar, and that's where he created that song, and we shot that scene. I was kind of sad to see that go. We'll see it somewhere down the line. We did the whole Live Aid sequence as well. So uh, the songs that you see in the film, I think you only see three of the six songs that they actually played on the day. So there is a, yeah. a version of that whole concert. But uh, it's been cut, it's just been cut, and we're gonna get to see it soon, and then, oh. and then you will too. Yeah. Yeah. I well, think that's gonna be an That's extra, coming later. Right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, this is exciting news. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anything else? Yeah, there's a John Deacon's introduced as sort of this like really accidental rock star. He's just like working, like doing like a little like soldering, and they kind of come up to him and, and ask him to join the band. And that was something I really wanted I, I wanted to get in because you see that like it's such an atypical story. Like he, this was just something for the weekends, just something in his spare time that he was doing. He never thought that Queen would like blow up the way it did and so before he knew it he was in the biggest band of all time like without even almost realizing it and so that was sort of a, a funny thing that I wish we had gotten in there. Yeah. Um, I actually haven't seen the final cut because I haven't been able to have seen an earlier cut. Is, is 39 in there? No, no, no it's no. not. I would say 30, we play the song 39 in uh, Japan yeah. and that for me was one of my uh, favorite days of filming and one of the favorite performances I, so I, I miss that. I love that song. It's a great song. song. Which leads me to my, my, my next thing. Queen, no matter what songs you put in this movie, um, and you partly answered it, but no matter what songs you put in this movie, there are 20 other songs you want to see in this movie because they're so good. Mm -hmm. For each of you, what's the song that you wish had made the movie, if any? It's, that's such so tough because like you have to cut down that list, obviously, like you say. I mean, my favorite Queen song is White Queen, as it began, of Queen 2. Um, but yeah, but there's not really a place for it in the movie. So, you know. Which the game. The game is so good, or the Flash, <laughs> Flash theme. Flash, yeah. so good. For selfish reasons, I'd I'd have liked Brighton Rock just to have learnt that amazing guitar riff. Mm. Yeah. But I gotta say, there are a lot of Queen songs in the oh. film, right? I mean, the whole the entire film is scored by Queen. At one point, I think we had thirty-five Queen songs in there uh, to start. But uh, yeah, I, 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 we're obviously gonna miss a few. I would have always loved to see the making of Under Pressure, because that's such a great story, but Under Pressure does make the movie. I, the, the soundtrack's, I gotta go, but the soundtrack's amazing. Queen fans are gonna lose their minds, but that's why I was saying this is a story I could have had a five hour cut for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know so I mean? did all of us. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't get our way. <laughs> Seriously, congratulations. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.